I'd like to take this point in time to review the first five topics of our course. And here are the topics. I'll let you review them quickly. Key points have been emphasized. So let's look at the first key point, CorpCom as a discipline. In this particular module, you read an article by the guru, Paul Arginetti. And this was a paragraph that I picked out from his article. Take a look. So as you know, <clears throat> corporate communications is internal, which was my specialty with Royal Dutch Shell, or external, which is to the external customers or stakeholders. Internal communications cover a whole variety of things. And as we looked at in this course, a lot are about managing organizational change, but it's also communicating about health and benefit packages. For example, the state of Kansas changed the process and there were training programs and communications about those health and benefit packages and how the laws changed impact us as employees. Those communications come out as email, placed in email newsletters, placed in regularly scheduled meetings and at lunch and learns when you bring your lunch and you learn. Then we looked at communication as a strategic tool in the change process. And all those large items are what scare people about change. Basically, it's uncertainty. And, oh, inconvenience, I have to learn something new. Oh, now I may have to report to somebody else. Oh, the system's changing. Oh, wow, what, what are my new job responsibilities? And as we've learned, corporate comm assists in that change process. We then looked at creating readiness for organizational change. We all know that when a big change has been announced, you're probably in surprise, and you may simply deny that it's ever going to happen. And then you get frustrated as it really goes into motion. You may really get depressed. And then you have to experiment. You have to make a decision. And the business then at this stage wants to integrate that change to the permanent organization. This takes time. This takes time. And you get lots of pushback within an organization if there are multiple changes occurring simultaneously. You looked at David Salk's uh, video, and he said, look, it's all about them. It's the individual that counts. It may not be the group, it's the individual within that group that, that is of great concern. He also talked about you have to work in communication to their style. Some people want the big picture, others want details. Others want timelines, others want face-to-face, -face. others want emails. Others simply run away from any communication that you give. And when he says stage matters, he's talking about this, the, the uh, stage of acceptance, I'm sorry, first the stage from shock to acceptance and integration into work. It depends on where you are in that process. We then looked at strategic communication in the corporate suite, the big shot suite, the VP, the chief executive officer suite. And you had an interview, you watched the interview, you had an article. And as, as always, I had a link to my uh, uh, reflections on that article. And here's a quote from that article. It 
it's overcoming resistance. Whatever change you have, generally there are going to be a large number of individuals that are skeptical and resistant to the change. And you have to convince them that the ongoing work activity that they will be performing will be beneficial to them. Too many times the company says, we're doing this for the business. Well, right, frankly, I think people say, yeah, 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 but what about me? Well, I hope this five, less than six minute video has refreshed your thoughts.